When I made the training about seven years ago, after a, f a few days of doing um, training, after everything I've done before, I just knew that my search was over. I felt it so deeply, even though I didn't understand anything about the training. <laughs> <laughs> I would come to open meetings and I would fall asleep. <laughs> But I kept coming back every day. And there were just these pockets of ease that used to fill my day, just little pockets, brief moments of complete ease. And in those brief moments of ease, it was exactly what I had been searching for my entire life, just to feel at ease in my own skin in my own body as myself no matter what was going on and that's really the preciousness of short moments the simple practice here short moments repeatedly until it becomes continuous and obvious until we start to really get to know ourselves as we truly are as open intelligence and to be introduced to open intelligence very directly. We can stop thinking for a moment. Stop thinking and allow everything to be as it is without following any train of thought. Simply allow it to flow on by. What remains is this openness this alertness, this ease, just this okayness that we can rest deeply as we are. Rest deeply in the powers of, of open intelligence, open-hearted open intelligence. <coughs> that is who we are. And then naturally all these thoughts Emotions, sensations, and experiences bubble up one after the other. And open intelligence remains. Whether we're thinking or not thinking, open intelligence is present. It's always on. That power to know, synonymous with open intelligence. Just that power to know that you're sitting in your chair, hearing my voice, That power is always on, whether we're thinking or not thinking. It is what fuels the next thought, emotion, sensation, or experience. And we term that, or we term all these thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences data, just to keep it really simple. Data, like what we see on our screens. They are countless, they are ceaseless, they are unpredictable. We never know what's going to come up next. And they're just this dynamic energy of open intelligence. Open intelligence, this power to know and data are completely inseparable, like the color blue and sky, or like breeze and air. We just know that we, we can't separate them without even thinking about it completely inseparable and so we're gaining more and more confidence in that inseparability of data and open intelligence no matter what comes up it is only the dynamic energy of open intelligence this beneficial potency benefit regardless of what it looks like or, or feels like and I'm feeling a lot more pain all over my body <laughs> as the years, well, as the days go by, not even the years. You know, just really uncomfortable and I can't sit like this for too long and I can't sit like that and my leg and this and that and the other and I try this and I try that and you should see when I'm working, my legs have got to be up, my body, my back's got to be like this. <laughs> you know, just like, <laughs> But there's still this incredible ease. 
there's such um, comfort and joy to to be as I am and, and to live a life of benefit no matter where I am or what I'm feeling. I just allow it to be as it is. There is such a softness, there's such a gentleness in relying on open intelligence and the four mainstays. No longer needing to be hard on ourselves or try and change or fix ourselves in any way. We simply allow ourselves to be as we are. We allow this body, our wisdom body, to feel what it feels, to experience what it experiences and see that we are not limited by these sensations, these emotions, these data streams. It may feel uncomfortable, yes, and we rest right there. And we can completely support ourselves, whatever we need to do. Everything is included in open intelligence. Nothing is left out. We completely take care of ourselves, of our precious selves. You know, being of benefit to ourselves, naturally being of benefit to others. And we are fully supported here with the four mainstays, taking short moments whenever we naturally remember to do so. Resting, complete relaxation when that, that pain arises, allowing it to be. and seeing that it does self-release and it might come up again and it self-releases and it might come up again. But what remains is this complete stability, this power to know open intelligence is always on. This limitless capacity to be of benefit, even if we are bedridden. We rest deeply as we are. And then reading texts or, or coming to open meetings, plugging in, even if we're extremely busy, we can always just plug in when we're helping, helping out with our family or community, whatever it is, we find moments where we can just plug in or fall asleep to talks. Or The four mainstays, what I found in my life is that they, they, they just mold into my life. They be, they, they're my lifestyle. They're inseparable from my life. They're this complete enjoyment of, of being confirmed again and again of my natural perfection. And then being with community, everybody just supporting one another you know, exemplifying these shining beings that we all are, all these shining beings, empowering one another, everyone taking responsibility for their own data and just seeing how we can, we can all live together and be together, surf together, do everything together, fully empowered, and more and more people gaining confidence in open intelligence seeing that we can live such powerful lives completely at ease and, and potent at the same time. And then our trainer, someone who's there for our entire lives. And building that relationship, it does take time. You know, like, well, for me, when I go into a pool, I have to first test it out with my toe because I don't like cold water. Let's test it out. <laughs> And then it's two toes, and then it's my foot, and then it's just that gentleness. But your openness is a gift. That's key. Just that openness to really build this relationship with open intelligence. The trainer, open intelligence. You know, we're just um, communicating or opening our hearts to open intelligence and the four mainstays. You know, someone that's been there before us and has um, experienced many things in their lives and can share from their direct experience how they use the support to empower themselves and to be of benefit. And so the empowerment calls, if you've done the 12 empowerments, then that is a treasure. Definitely to join the empowerment calls. Be in trainings with your trainer. And slowly you build that relationship. And then when things come up, you can just touch in with them. You've been writing to them once a week, sharing the benefits you've seen in your life. 
it really just opens up that beautiful relationship. Yeah, I just, I just have to think of my train, and I, <laughs> and I know all this well. Just first borrowing that trust from my train and seeing, you know, everything that that she she's gone through and how she's lived life and how she just totally demonstrates this devotion to open intelligence and to supporting all beings everywhere. And with that example, I, yeah, I just naturally want to do the same. So thank you so much for your courage and for your openness to be here and to, yeah, just being so open and really getting to know yourself, these beautiful, beneficial, powerful beings.